today's video will really make you feel that you are becoming a pro in your own kitchen because today we are going to make a dish that I grew up with that is part of my roots and Rafi's roots and, and it's actually considered one of the flag dishes one of the staples of the Moroccan cuisine so if you guessed by now I am talking about couscous so what's couscous? Couscous is the name of a dish that was created many many years ago I don't even know how many years ago um, when my mom was still alive she said that oh she basically grew up with it and her mother grew up with it which means it's at least 150 years old if I calculate right so um, what's a couscous dish the couscous dish is that Moroccan dish that has it all if you think about it it really has it all think about the food pyramid what do we have in the food pyramid we have our grains we have fruits and vegetables we have legumes then we have a little little top uh, that's devoted for sweets right right so um, and I am talking about the basic uh, couscous there are several versions of couscous but I'm talking about the basic one the authentic one the one that really has got it all and that couscous is the couscous that has again if we're going back to the food pyramid it has the grains it has the fruits it has the vegetables and it has the protein so yeah it really has it all and I remember that when I asked my mom about couscous because my mom basically made couscous for us oh at least every two weeks or so and of course whenever we had a family celebration couscous was the thing to make for every wedding for a bar mitzvah for when a baby is born so there were all these reasons to make a couscous and during the holidays you decorated the couscous with prunes and dates and you added raisins of course to add sweetness to the famous dish and I remember going back to my mom's story when I asked my mom is there a reason to make couscous and she said well she would say Yafa think about it a couscous has it all it has all the things that I just mentioned in the food pyramid and just like the couscous dish has it all that's how much we wished the person that we made the couscous for that's how much we wished that person all the good in the world all the blessings all the luck, all the congratulations so that's how we congra congratulated uh, people and besides that if you think about it it's so delicious and I know that it, it looks like a very complicated dish to make when we make it today step by step you are going to see that it's not such a big deal so without any further ado let's get right into it and start making the authentic real Moroccan couscous dish and we're gonna make it with chicken we have celery now you can see that my celery is frozen but it's better than not have anything because these are the days where we're still quarantined and I don't want to go to the super the other thing I have here is celery root celeriac we also need carrots we need tomatoes we need onion here are my garbanzo beans now garbanzo beans better use dry beans that you soaked overnight if you didn't remember and you have to use a can then you use a can but if you remember please soak them overnight and you will have them ready for the next day to start your couscous cooking i also have this instant couscous so for those of you that don't know this is what we call couscous this semolina 
The rest of the ingredients that you see here are really for the soup that we drizzle on the semolina. And together it becomes the couscous dish. But really this is the couscous. The semolina, teeny tiny balls. I'm gonna cook it on the stove and I'll show you how. It's just an easy way to do it. Um, we need pumpkin and I don't have, but I do have frozen yams. So I'm gonna use frozen yams instead. We also need turmeric, salt and pepper. And here's a tip that I would like to share with you. This is my chicken stock. Now, if you don't have chicken stock on hand, it's okay. If you have chicken bouillon, those uh, chicken powder uh, squares or a large container of chicken powder, go ahead and use that and you will need about one and a half tablespoon of the chicken powder. But for me, the last time I cooked chicken was last week and when I clean the chicken and I still have all the bones, I cook them. And I cook them with olive oil, onion, and garlic, and I make my own chicken stock. And it's gonna add so much to the dish. So the first step for our couscous is we're gonna steam this semolina. Okay. I'm going to add just one cup of semolina into my pot. To that, I am adding one tablespoon of olive oil and I'm gonna add one cup of, of water, just tap water. I'm gonna give it a little stir and I'm gonna put it on the stove, I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then I'm gonna lower it to very, very low simmer and we're gonna simmer it until the semolina steams well and there's no more water. While the semolina is being uh, cooked for us, let's take care of our vegetables. We're gonna peel off the vegetables and, and we're gonna slice them, but we're gonna slice them large pieces. Because the couscous soup uh, cooks for a long time, we have to make sure that our vegetables are not being cooked to be too soft. We're gonna cook them large pieces so they don't totally fall apart in the couscous soup. You can see I'm cutting them larger than what I, I am. Cutting the vegetables, more of large wedges as you can see place them in the bowl and we're gonna do the same with our potatoes the frozen vegetables that I had prepared in advance are already cut so we don't need to worry about them and here we go so it's about one inch uh, I would say one inch for each cubed potato I have here the celeriac root and here I am adding some of my sweet potatoes beautiful and now let's add some of the celery sticks and the last thing I'm adding is a nice fresh zucchini and the zucchini as well I am slicing the zucchini to about an inch so here, from now on, we switch to where I can really show you very clear what we're doing. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, I am adding olive oil, and you can add vegetable oil as well, but I'm adding olive oil, olive oil to the pan. Now I'm adding all the onions that I just chopped. Now the onion has to be really chopped small and I'll show you why. So we're gonna brown the onion first. As soon as the onion start getting brown, we're gonna add the tomatoes. So I'm gonna let our onions get brown and in the meantime, I'm getting ready with the tomatoes. I am shredding the tomatoes. 
We want to create kind of an onion tomato jam. Of course, there, it's not going to be a jam, there's not going to be any sugar, of course. It, this is a very savory dish. To shred the tomatoes, you need tomatoes that are really soft. Choose the softest tomatoes that you have at home and keep the other ones, the ones that are not soft, keep them for your salads and keep the tomato juice as well. We're gonna need it.